I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to another interesting video. We'll prove by contradiction that logarithm given statement is irrational. Let us understand the concept and the steps involved in such proof. Join my classes and enjoy the journey of success. Now, let us understand the solution. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here is a very interesting question from one of our subscribers. We need to prove by contradiction. Now, this is a very important strategy. I will explain this strategy also while providing the solution of the question. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. The question before you is, prove by contradiction that log 5 is an irrational number. So I hope you have understood the question. I would like you to pause the video here and answer. I am going to provide the solution in five minutes. We will discuss the strategy before that. I hope this concept is clear to you. So we want to prove that log 5 is an irrational number. What does that mean? Well, when we say log 5, we know the base is 10, right? That is by default. And what is the meaning of irrational number? Let us try to understand that also. So, when we say irrational, It means that it cannot be written as P over Q, where Q is not equal to 0 and P is not a factor of Q. That is to say that it is kind of the least or the lowest possible value of P over Q. Right? So, the common factors have been already cancelled. So, that is what it means. Now, this is one part we have understood what is irrational. Now, what we need to understand is proved by contradiction itself. What does that mean? Well, here is the concept. When we say prove by contradiction, then the concept is to prove a statement by contradiction, you start by assuming it is not true. So, assume that it is not true and then contradict your statement. You get the idea. Write a negative statement. So, when you want to say that it is not true, you have to write a negative statement. That is, we say prove by contradiction that square root, oh, in this case, the logarithm of 5 is irrational. So, the contradictory statement will be, let us assume that this is ir irrational number, right? So, that is the contradictory statement. So, the negative statement is, instead of saying that this is an irrational number, we will say this is a rational number. So, that will be a negative statement. So, negative statement in this case will be what? Is log to the base 10 of 5 is a rational number, right? So, that is a negative statement. 
Now, what does that mean? This is what we are going to see, right? But let's try, try to understand the concept. So, to prove a statement by contradiction, you start by assuming it is not true. Write a negative statement for doing so. Then, use logical steps to show that this assumption leads to something impossible, either a contradiction of the assumption or a contradiction of a fact. So that is what it should lead to, logically. So we'll start with saying that let it be a rational number. That means we can write this in the form of P over Q. But if we do so, then we contradict something else or we make something else true, which is impossible. And therefore, by contradiction, we will prove that the assumption was wrong and the statement is therefore proven. So then you can conclude that the assumption was wrong and so the original statement was true. You get the idea. Now these four statements which I have written are extremely important. So when you prove by contradiction, ensure that all four statements should appear in your proof. Your proof may be of four statements, but then supported by these statements. Perfect. So, if you do that, then you got the right answer. Now, let's try to prove it. Okay. So, how we can do it? We will say that log 5 is, we'll say let. Or we can say let us assume. Let this be, let this be, let log 5 be a rational number. Now, what does that really mean? That really means that we could write this in the form of a ratio, P over Q. Well, there is, this is the lowest term. So, this is in the lowest term. That means no common factor. Between P and Q, right? And of course, Q is not equal to zero, right? Perfect. So that is what it is. When we say it is rational, it means it can be written as a fraction like this. That is a rational number, right? Okay. Now, we can say that Writing the same statement in exponential form, we could now say, now we have to follow the logical steps. Do you understand? Which may lead to contradiction. Then we get the result. Is that clear? That is the approach. So the logical step will be, let's write this into the exponential form. So, we get pi equals to 10 to the power of p over q. Now, I could actually, on both the sides, make everything to the power of q. Then what happens? Well, then we get 5 to the power of q equals to 10 to the power of p, right? Now, 5 to the power of q is equal to 10 to the power of p. Can this be true? Is this a correct statement or does it lead to impossible result? This is what you have to say at this stage. How do you conclude that? So, you can see 5 to the power of anything will be an odd number. Do you see that? It will end with 5, right? For example, we have 5, 5 squared is 25, 5 cube will be 125 and so on. So, it is going to end with 5. On the other hand, 10 to the power of p is an even number. It ends with what? It ends with 0, right? So, it could be 10, 100, 1000 and so on. So, now that is the contradiction, right? So, we know that odd number is not equal to even. So, that is the contradiction. 
So from the contradiction, we have shown that log to the base 10 of 5 is an irrational number. Perfect. Now here is a neat and clean proof for you. So as I was saying, our approach will be, we'll actually write a negative statement. Since we need to prove by contradiction, most of the time when we are proving by contradiction, the statements are correct. So we begin by writing a negative statement. Okay, let us assume that this is a rational number. Okay, in that case, it can be written P over Q form. So now, as I was saying, writing into the equivalent form, we get 5 equals to 10 to the power P over Q. Taking exponent of Q on both the sides leads to 5 to the power of Q equals to 10 to the power of Q. Now, as you can see, we have odd terms on the left side and even on the right side. So, 5 exponents are all odd numbers. 10 exponents are all even numbers, they cannot be true. So, this statement is impossible, contradictory. So, therefore, from the contradiction, we have said that our assumption is wrong. If the assumption is wrong, that means they are irrational numbers, correct? So, odd numbers cannot be equal to an even number. So, the assumption was wrong. Therefore, by contradiction, log 5 is an irrational number. Does it make sense to you? If you provide these logics and statements, then you get full marks. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to contact me in case you want to learn from me. And if you have any questions, even then, provide suggestions. Thank you and all the best.